So today we're going to be unboxing the Tech 21 Evo Max case for my new iPhone 13 Pro. Do a quick unboxing, install on the phone, and then we're going to continue on later with my review of the case after about a week or two of using it. Let's get this box opened up. Slides up. A lot of empty wasted box space in this case box. Comes with a belt clip holster. It's not full screen protection coverage, but it allows you to enter the case forward or back. And the big feature, the reason why I picked this case over any of the others, is this lens door. Covering up those lenses on the iPhone 13 to me would seem like an important detail because on my 7, it's always getting uh, covered up with smudges. It's got a couple nicks in the lens from being in my pocket with my keys. And I just thought this just makes more sense to have a case that actually has a lens cover or lens cap for those, those nice lenses on the iPhone. They're claiming a 20 foot impact protection, maintain protection drop after drop, got built in hygiene protection, advanced antimicrobial technology, tough wearing materials, and a clip on holster. Good. That all fits in the case nice and snug. Alright, here we are. It's installed in the case. Has a good solid feel. We have our, our lens cover. Checks those lens, camera lenses. Feels good. Nice good feel in it. The grip feels good on the case. We've got a door access for our hold switch. Doors have a nice solid feel when they clasp back in. Red volume up and down, red power button. Lightning connector door it has a little plug in it. It plugs actually into the lightning connector to hold itself in place. And this case is MagSafe compatible. But the main thing I want to do is protect these camera lenses. And we're going to see how this works over the next week or two. Three weeks later. All right, it's been about three weeks since I got the new iPhone 13 Pro and the new Tech 21 case I installed on it. Overall, the durability of this case is outstanding. It fell out of my lap, getting up out of my truck, and fell onto the concrete. I couldn't even see a mark on the case where it landed at to find out you know, where it hit. No issues whatsoever. Overall, the case has a good grip and texture. I don't feel like it's gonna slip out of my hand ever. I love having the lens cover cap for the cameras. The reason why I wanted that is because on my previous iPhone, the camera was always getting gunked up. I was using it for work a lot. So I wanted to protect these cameras because mainly I wanted to be able to use this as another camera and tool for this channel as well as other photography, videography purposes. I wanted to be able to definitely keep those lenses clean and protected with something actually covering them. Now for the most part, I've been very careful with this phone being that it's probably the nicest thing I've ever owned as far as a phone goes and I wanted to take care of it. So I have been a little bit more extra cautious, making sure I take it out of my pocket and put it up on my toolbox at work, stuff of that nature, try to keep it, uh, try to keep it as clean as I can. The, the case itself has been overall a, a very pleasant experience. My one big gripe about this case oh, that I would have, other than the shell and the belt clip, is a lot of times I go to grab it, it's very easy to just hit the buttons on the sides and I'm always either waking it up or taking a screenshot of the, the home screen as I'm unlocking it. It seems that they, they, they hit very, very easily. And while they have a very good broadened texture and they're easy to press, that's been a kind of a nuisance I would say with this case is that it actually just very easy to just turn it off. If you go to grab it from here or while it's ringing in this case, a lot of times I keep it in this, this half shell at, at work just to help keep the screen protected. And normally I have never ever used the belt clip or the, the case cover. I have been using it on this phone just because it's kind of a quick little case protector for it that adds additional protection. Thing I find that when you go to grab it, as you can see here, is when you try to grab it from the top, there is a little bit of an, an edge that's also for the case, but it's really easy to just grab it from the buttons and pull it out and you seem like you're always hitting the buttons when you do that. Aside from that, that's about the only downside I have with this case. I honestly don't think it'd be an issue at all about the buttons if I did just kept it by itself without the clip cover because 
I usually just keep it in my chest pocket here on my, my work shirt. Usually it's over here. It was my go-to flashlight. It doesn't, it, it deters me from using the flashlight unless I really have to. If you one who likes using your iPhone flashlight a lot, it's a pain in the butt if you gotta open the cover all the time to use it. This isn't a flashlight. I have flashlights and tools that actually do that job. So I've been trying to carry those more often than just rely on my phone. Now around the house or anything like that, it's still just as easy just to pop the cover open. Turn on a new one here. So I've got my flashlight available. I like having the charging port cover plugged up. As you can see here, it has a receptacle in it that actually plugs into the port to help it keep it secure. So when you push it closed, it creates a nice seamless seam. You've got your speakers here. Now I know the phone's IP68 rating for waterproof. I haven't ever tested it, but it helps does keep that clean. And I did always find on my old previous seven, carrying in my pocket all day, you get that lint build up inside the charging port. You have to clean it out every now and then. That definitely helps prevent that with that cover. Now, moving on to the case. The case is cumbersome. There's nothing good I can say really about it other than it's a handy kickstand with the belt clip, which has a little kickstand in it. You can hold the phone at an angle like so. You can rotate it and watch something on it like that if you wanted to. I do find I use it. I have a spot I can clip it up on my, my workbench on a on a rack and it'll grab on and just sit there and display and play play something i can just more and listen to while i'm working been using it i've been keeping it with it try to always flip it around it's a pain in the butt but i always try to do flip it around to cover the screen up and just give that ex extra added protection while it's not being used i did buy one accessory mount for the car from like belkin or something like that at target and it did not fit in between here and it wouldn't hold the phone. There was a magnetism to it. It barely caught the lips here on this on this case. So you can see these lips here, it was just barely catching it where it wouldn't grab a secure lock on the thing. So I ended up just walking right back in the store and returning it that day. So I haven't found a solution for mounting it like on the dash for GPS or anything like that right now. I was down at Best Buy today and bought the actual MagSafe charger. MagSafe does lock in on the very top here. Feels somewhat secure. I'm gonna plug it in, see if it works on the case. There it is. All right, so the magnetism lock to this case is with the pad, it feels like it's locking on just fine and it's, and it's got a good attachment. I don't know if I'd necessarily trust it hanging on a dash or anything like that. So I may be looking for a different mounting system for that. This does lock on and it grabs it, so it does work. I would only buy this case again for the same reason I bought it to begin with and that is to protect the cameras. Everything else but the case, it works. It has a 20 foot multi-drop test rating. So it's a good durable case. It feels solid in your hands, it feels good on the phone. But again, I, the only reason why I would buy this again, I think personally is for the camera cover. The lock is very secure. It's never moved off the lock. It's, it, if it's out of its position over here, it's because I've moved it over here and I forgot to close it. I like having that protection there because like I said, I always end up thrashing these things. I know over the first couple of weeks, I'm taking care of things a little bit more because it's new and I don't want to ruin that new feeling about it. So overall, the Tech 21 Evo Max case works really well. I would only recommend it if you're gonna buy it strictly for the camera covers. That is the main feature of this case that no other cases really offer and I'm glad they offer this because this is pretty cool. I do like it, it's a good quality build when the back cover is on it back here and the belt clip is here. There are times with the camera open that this can be in the way. So that's one of the downsides, but it's easily remedied by just rotating the belt clip up. All right, so with that guys, that's all I have to say about this case. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, a like, it really helps me out. If you haven't subscribed yet already, please hit that subscribe button down there. Love to have you on board with the channel and more content to come. Talk to you later.